What's up everybody? I hope you're doing well out there. Welcome back to the channel. As you can see here, we have another unboxing video. So, uh, let's just jump into it. Hmm. That is difficult to do one-handed. Alright. Alright, so we got it open now. Or unwrapped. This is pretty freaking heavy too. Literally it's about as heavy as it feels like a like a 360. There's a lot of wrapping on this. Alright, so what we've got here is Marvel Comics The Stand, The Omnibus by uh, author Stephen King. In my opinion, this is one of the best fictional stories I've ever written. And uh, it's got the entire uh, Marvel Comics comic run of The Stand. All five, I think there's five volumes. So there was five, like, 22-page issues that were busted up into volumes. And this is the whole, the whole story from beginning to end, finally. I've been wanting to own this forever. But uh, they'd never had it here. They never had it at any of my local Barnes & Noble. And so I finally had to go online and order it. And I'm really glad I did because this is, uh, this looks beautiful. This is freaking cool. Alright, so first of all, we get the book itself, which is, uh, it's pretty dang thick for a comic book. That's about the size of a, I think maybe even a little bit thicker than the Walking Dead's omnibuses. But, uh, yeah, this is it. The whole story from beginning to end. The artwork is pretty damn good for a uh, Marvel comic book. In my opinion, Marvel's gone downhill over the years, but this came out in 2012. And it does contain... Book 1, Captain Troops, American Nightmares, Book 3, Soul Survivor, Hard Cases, No Man Can Land, and Book 6, The Night Has Come. So that is pretty awesome. I'm excited about this. Cool picture of uh, Mother Abigail with her guitar. I got an introduction by the Karate Kid, <laughs> Ralph Macchio. That's pretty cool. And then you get into chapter one. The circle opens. And it starts off with him waking and his wife and kid scurrying off the military base. Just like the uh, identical to the TV show and the, the comic. And this is pretty faithful to the... Uh, from what I heard, this is faithful to the uh, the book, not the TV show. Like all the characters look like they're described in the book. Look at that, that is cool. The prison. The CDC. There's Poke and uh, the other guy. This is cool. It's got to have the trash can man in here, I'm sure. Then Nick Ambrose. Yeah, I'm impressed. It's the entire story, and that's only, uh, yeah, this is so.
yeah, this is a uh, this is definitely freaking cool. And what do we got back here? Looks like we've got a poster. We've got all the covers. That is some pretty freaking awesome artwork, man. And that's just, uh, this is just book one. It also comes with this companion book here, which is also pretty thick on its own. The story of the stand. Thinking this is just, uh, yeah, this is cover art and probably concept art. Now this is beautiful. I'm definitely really glad I got this. Then I think this whole. Yeah, it's all just looks like covers. Okay, we got a okay look to how they bring them together. That is cool. So anyone out there who wants to know how to make a comic book, this is kind of how you how you set it up. Describe what the panel looks like and the caption. So that's definitely a cool companion to have with any comic book. And then you got a character profile of all the characters. Wow. That is awesome. Really can get uh, submerged into the world here of the stand with these two things. That's probably what I'm going to be doing for a little while. So uh, let me know what you think of these. Um, are you going to go out and get some if you can? There's only a few I saw on eBay. I couldn't find them at Barnes & Noble or uh, Amazon or anywhere else. So uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you later.